Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek over my shoulder while I'm noob vision all over Neofeud. You can find Neofeud in uh, itch.io, uh, I will put links down in the description. But right now we have a prison break to attempt to. Can you put away this? Okay, so we have a mission to flood the floor and uh, summon some guards and then they hopefully will get electrocuted so like we have two water sources one water exit and only one fluffy fluffy thing to to use for drain stuffing yoink stuff it in there right so now what just open the valve Using the movement icon when something is active apparently works. Can I take something from here? Or is it oh get something off the bed like it's all well and good that the drain is blocked but uh oh sink is a separate item okay Totally stuff that time there. Oh, let's see. If I can I break the faucet. And he turns it off. into the sink? No. Like, there's... There's definitely enough stuff around. Oh, can we, can we take the pillow away? And cut the piece. Now, turn it on 
the bed. Okay, I've got an inch or so of water on the cell floor. Roger. Now, just cook up some weight and get the guards to come down here. Why not just show them the water? Nah, they can't know the water is there or the plan won't work. The water gotta be out of the shot. Alright, I'll work on it. Well, it seems that one way... I was gonna say maybe take out, maybe taste the light and take it out, but that might work too. Okay, so can you do that? Time to die. <laughs> We've got to keep the asset alive or Warren will recycle us. Oh, hello.
wait, why is he going back to his cell? Oh, okay. Let's check the doodads. Yoink. like I'm all up in the interwebs now, dog. <laughs> Unlimited text, data, calls, all for the low, low price of disembodimentation. Proto? That's great. Where's my family? I've, I've got to find them. Warren said he would protect them. Sorry, Carl. I got panorama vision of all this crib's cameras, but I don't see your folks nowhere in the big brother machine. And they ain't in the database, far as I know. They's MIA. Son of a bitch. Warren must have been lying to me the whole time. He was never gonna help Jewel and Johnny. I feel you, bro. That Psycho King gotta be iced, for real. Yo, I, I got it. There might still be a way to save your boo and shorty, Carl. <laughs> but we gotta stop Warren and take back the Garden of Porcupines and shit. The Garden of Forking Paths. Yeah, you're right, Proto. That's the only way out of this. If you can commandeer the Reality Maker, anything could be possible. First, we got a jailbreak princess. She down at the end of this boat. Hello. Okay, I'll be in are, touch. Are these her guys? Where this is going, so oh, for his personal yo. If it wasn't for that crazy, self-sacrificing chrome boy, we would be. I guess the six billion dollar baller is living up to the hype. What? Proto-J is alive? 
Yes, or sort of. Depends on your metaphysical, philosophical worldview, I think. Uh, no time to explain now. We need to stop your father. You're right. Let's go. Uh, we should probably let the agents out. Why? Wait! These must be my neural unlocked Egalite cooperative agents. I saw them being thrown into this cell earlier. That confirms it then. We better jailbreak these guys. They can pass for Warren's men. Double agents would be invaluable in our current situation. Bloop, bloop. Your Highness, how did you... No time to explain now. We have to put an end to my father's reign of terror. Of course, Your Highness. can't get the elevator running. Think you can, like, uh, hack it or something? I'm with the trap. One sec. Yeah, can't get it going. Easy peasy, dog. Let's I even unlocked the secret DEFCON 4 level. Ooh. Thanks. We're heading down now. Watch your step, though. I'm reading some serious bad vibes downstairs. We'll be careful. Okay, I guess we need to go then. Uh, <laughs> this way, princess? Also save. to go down. Hello. Hey, that's Princess Sybil. She must have escaped her cell. Get her. Oh, shit. Oh, is that the grandpa? What was that place? My father said that the key to the garden and the throne controlling the garden were separate. Perhaps that place was the control center for the Garden of Forking Paths? It would make sense. The vortex of those tentacle synapse things, the garden's network or whatever, seems to be converging into that chair. Our only hope then is to dethrone King Warren and take control of the garden. We've got to do something about the Clinton Bush forces down there. Your princess, Sybil Clinton Bush, you can just order them to stand down, like any of your subjects, right? Unfortunately, my father is technically still the reigning monarch, and his will supersedes mine. Any idea on what we should do next? Maybe we should check the Garden of Forking Paths for anything that could help us gain control of it? Okay, so... Oh, right now we're we're not on G. G is one below.
was that place? My father said that the key to the garden and the... Th it would make sense. Our only... Your prince... Unfort... Okay. Any I idea guess. on what we should do next? We need to figure out a way to remove my father from power. Well, we have Proto-J to help us in the Cyber War Theater. But Warren still seems to be in control. Yes. The Clinton Bush forces are neurologically programmed to follow Warren according to the Three Laws of Robotics. The Three Laws... Yes. Number one, a robot may not injure or through inaction allow harm to come to a member of the neo-feudal royalty. The reigning monarch's safety supersedes all other royalty. Two, a robot must obey any orders given to it by a neo-feudal royal, with the reigning king or queen's orders taking precedence over all other princesses, princes, corporate and banking executives, religious leaders, media personalities, and all other royal members, human, transhuman, AI and otherwise. 3. Upon proven death of original body without transfer to a backup clone and erasure of all uploaded consciousness gestalts of the current reigning monarch, the ascension of the rightful heir to the throne occurs immediately. The new incumbent sovereign gains supreme entitlements of the first and second law of robotics. Okay, so we have to prove to the agents that the body is dead and that King Warren's consciousness was erased, and they should then follow you? Yes. I am the next in line for the throne, so all Clinton Bush subjects would be mandated to follow me according to their programming. Okay, so I guess we're going off now. I want to see where we can go. Oh, we're still going down. Okay. Okay, so this one is... Ephraim is the lab. Or the, the facility. What's next? Oh, okay. Let's go one up then. Proper up then. Hey, that's Princess Sybil. She must have escaped her cell. Get her. Oh shit. Right, so I guess we have to go down again or what? What if you had your knights here go by themselves up to the palace throne room? They could pose as Warren's men and use some cover story as to why they need to bring the king's body down. That just might work. Luther, Che, I need you to go to the throne room and retrieve King Warren's body. If the others ask why, say the king ordered an investigation or an autopsy on the body as a reason to bring it downstairs. Of course, Princess. What if the others are suspicious and check with Warren to confirm? Hmm, that's true. We'll have to figure out a way to fake the order from King Warren. How exactly do these agents get their commands? Their cybrains have a direct link up to the Clinton Bush wireless 8G network. <clears throat> so basically, they get orders through the internet? Basically. Che? Their factory default names were A-1830135 and I forget the other. They're not products or slaves. They're individuals, so I figured I'd give them some real names. Uh, famous freedom fighters? Well, we are trying to stage a revolution, aren't we? Proto, I need you to do something for us. Yeah? I need you to impersonate King Warren and send an order through the Clinton Bush network to the Royal Guards that agents are coming up to take Warren's body down for an autopsy. Uh, yeah. I, I can do that. Just, uh, gotta practice my royal asshat voice. Thanks. Our undercover agents are coming up now. Down. Mm, 
free is this floor, right? Okay, Proto is going to spoof the Warren Loyal agents, so they should be able to bring the body down no problem. If it goes according to plan. Okay, I don't see much choice. It's only a matter of time till Warren figures out a way to breach this area. The mission is a go. Right away, Princess. We're here to take King Warren's body down for autopsy. We weren't notified of any such order. King Warren might have just issued it through the intranet. Yo, my niggas be coming up for the body. <laughs> I mean, the other units are coming up to collect my body for the investigation. Understood. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. This embodimentation is making my cracker ass. I mean, it's giving me some headaches. Understood. Do you need us to come down and check on your physical substrate? What? No, no, absolutely not. I'm A-OK. -okay. Just continue on, holding the world leaders at gunpoint up there. Great job, son. Thank you, your majesty. Shit, that was close. Almost blew my cover there. <laughs> brains are considerably bigger than the human models. We have the body. Level. Great job, guys. <laughs> now, we just need to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> uh, maybe save again? Right, so I guess... Any we idea on what we should do maybe? next? We need to figure out a way to remove my father from power. Well... Yes. Okay, well, they have this. Um... Um, let's try going to the elevator, I suppose. Was G. Oh, that was the uh, control. We better get this egalite cooperative overthrow conspiracy straight before we try anything. Like I said, once the king's latest instantiation into flesh has been proven legally dead, and his digital consciousness backup has been sabotaged, all Clinton Bush robotic subjects will be forced to accept me as the new monarch. It's hardwired. So, we have the decomposing death certificate right here. We just need to get rid of the uploaded post-human whatever version of Warren that's still around. Sounds tough. True, but you're not understanding the true nature of neo-feudal politics. If the subjects believe that the king is dead, then they will crown me queen, even if Warren's ghost is still out in the machine, as long as there's a media blackout on that fact. So you're saying we trick the Clinton Bush state into making you queen? Look, it wouldn't be the first time the most powerful corporate state in the world held a rigged election. This is the only way. Believe me, I have tried the grassroots methods. I supported nonviolent resistances, I started countless NGOs, built miles and miles of affordable housing, fought for rights and food and healthcare for all, to no avail, to laughter and mockery. Don't you see? Democracy has been long dead. When absolute power reigns, all that can change it is absolute power. At the end of the day, it's either your father or you. I put my money on the Royal Revolutionary over the Megalomaniac. Proto, Yo. we're going to need you to doctor the Clinton Bush consciousness registry to make it look like King Warren's mind files have been acid washed from existence. Can you do that? 
Maybe. I think so. He's been fighting back mad hard against me now. I think he knows what we're planning. I don't know how long I can hold him. What was that? Bad news, yo. Looks like that Demon King just had him dubs breach the underground. Warren be regaining control. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can follow all that more flack out the lower levels. We just need a little more time, Proto. You have to fight him. I'ma try, but well, you guys better hustle this royal hustle or it's game over. Let's go, Carl. We can do this. We have to do this for the good of all sentience. Beep boop. Why, hello there. What the hell? Great Musk, Proto. Y you came back. How did you... What's going on up in here? Am I dead? You, uh, incapacitated me. That's the last I remember. Yeah, that happened. But it happened yesterday. Uh, all I remember is we crashed the Falcon party. I was in a Mind Mojo showdown with King Warren. And then I feel like I come apart at the seams. Oh, then I was uploaded in the interwebs, playing handler for Carl and Sybil. Then poof, I'm in here? You made it to the secret facility? Extraordinary. <laughs> if I had to hypothesize, I'd say your essence has been absorbed into the superfield of the garden. So, uh, where am I exactly? Am I dead? A ghost? Up in the Matrix and this all be a simultation? None of the above. It's difficult to explain, but essentially you have become unstuck from the space-time consciousness continuum. Disentangled might be a better term. The passage of the golem is complete. Well, how do I retangle? Carl, Sybil, they, they need me back in the fight. Yes. Yes, of course, and you will. You will change everything, everything, Proto. You've exceeded my wildest expectations. But first, Ooh. I need you to insert this upgrade chip into your neural interface. Wait, wait, wait. Why the hell should I listen to a damn thing you say? How do I know that ain't some slave dongle or some shit? You betrayed me! You sold us out to the cult jobs! Yes. I... I hated the Clinton Bush family for what they'd done to me. And I figured my only pathway back to the garden was riding a war copter in the coke jobs coup d'etat. But you must understand, I always meant to bring you with me. They shot up my place, my homeboys, the strands at the arcade. They nearly wasted me too. The coke jobs squads were under direct orders to take you in unharmed. I am sorry for the collateral damage. Collateral damage? Those are my people. Please, you must understand everything I've done. I've done for you, my boy. Without you, the grand architecture, everything I've built all falls apart. You are the key to everything, my son. Don't call me that. <laughs> Don't you flacking call me that. I ain't yours or nobody's son. I'm a self-made crow. Ain't nobody was there for me as a shorty in Dickinson and I just had to build my own family one deal, one shot at a time I ain't your son I ain't your son you put me together then you threw me away what kind of dad does that? and I regret every day of it 
But there was no other way. I was a prisoner. A slave of the Clinton Bush dynasty. Don't you see? If they were to discover what I had created with you, they would have locked you in their vault and made you a slave as well. I had to concoct a way to free you from the fulcrum. So I indicated you as a failed experiment. So that they would discard you into the terrestrial wastes. I know it was no place for a child, but you've seen it, haven't you? You would have suffered a worse fate in that abominable facility, that prison. I only took solace in the power you possessed would protect you in the harsh world below. Lies! <laughs> You'd be just as bad as King Warren. You just wanted me as a puzzle piece in your grandmaster plan. That's why you stuck me out the lab. So you could have the garden all to yourself. I admit, I was selfish. I can see that now. If I couldn't have the kingdom, then no one would... I suppose I would have seen to that. I let hubris get the best of me. Your hubris nearly killed me. You have no idea what it was like in the street. Sleeping in boxes, getting beaten by racist humans. Begging for spare batteries and getting thrown in prison for trying to grab a recharge in a coffee shop or using an unlicensed replacement part when your arm breaks. You put me through hell. And then the Chrome Boys, Tello, Carl, Sybil, you betrayed them all. You betrayed me. Do it, son. Go on and do it. I deserve this for everything I've put you and your millions of brothers and sisters through. Perhaps in the end, the biggest defect in the system was me. I fucking hate you. I hate you till my motherboard grind itself to dust. And my backup drives bit right away. But you're my maker. My old man. Your family. I, I, I can't. I can't do it. Come here, my son. You, Proto J. You were my greatest creation of all. You were always the key to... to everything. I used you. And I'm so sorry. The gun matches the jumpsuit. What? What are you doing? The coke jobs will be coming for me now. Never again will I be a slave to Babylon. I will not watch another generation of my Nephilim suffer the avarice of tyrants as you did. No! Don't do this! Please! Go, my son. Go and help the princess. You are the candle in the dark. Set aflame a second enlightenment. Do right where I failed. No! No! <laughs> and the point about the bullet not matching because it was from his gun still kind of worked. Don't leave me! <laughs> Yoink. That's the princess. King Warren wants her detained immediately. King Warren doesn't want anything, because King Warren is dead. Impossible! 
We received orders from him to hold the garden control room. He said you would try to capture it. Well, whatever false information you've been getting is lies. Propaganda. Probably pushed by our enemies, the coke jobs, in order to keep you from fighting the coup d'etat they've orchestrated. The Neo-Feudal Council and the Clinton Bush dynasty have been tricked, cut off at the head. The conspirators don't want you to know that our head of corporate state is dead to keep our dynasty in disarray while they assume power. Impossible. We have the King's Prime Vessel right here before our eyes. There is no mind in that body. It is a mere husk. A shadow of my father, a decoy to keep the Clinton Bush body politic without a head. There's no way we can accept the word of an alleged traitor to the throne at face value. You'll need to produce some hard evidence, Princess. I have the body of the last incarnate vessel of King Is Warren here. here. <laughs> This body shows a 99% DNA match with King Warren, and the watermark stenographed into the corpse's mitochondria matches the consciousness blockchain hash, uh, meaning this was almost certainly Warren's last reincarnation. However, in order for the neo feudal ruler to be uh, declared officially deceased, complete erasure of all uploaded consciousness gestalts of the current reigning monarch must be proven. Indeed. Check the Clinton Bush digital crypt. You will see all of King Warren's backup consciousness states have been erased. The King's ghost has been purged from the machine. That is impossible. The Clinton Bush network is light years ahead of its rivals. It is an impregnable quantum edifice. The only way the King could have been erased is by an inside job. You're lying. You must believe me. No one is more distraught by this than me. They killed my father. A and we have proof. It was General Walker's Air Force and Stormtroopers that took the Fulcrum Palace. They could have had plants anywhere inside of this facility. You must believe me. This was almost certainly sabotaged by the Coke Jobs or another rival neo-feudal empire wishing to harm my family. You do remember your oath to defend royalty from harm unquestioningly? Just check the servers and you'll see. Very well. Don't move. It appears King Warren's consciousness gestalts have been wiped from the system. The king is dead. In accordance with the third law, Princess Sybil Clinton Bush only surviving daughter of the late King Warren Clinton Bush has now ascended to the neo-feudal throne. The king is dead. Long live the queen. Wee Long live Queen Sybil. Hey yo. Long live <laughs> the queen. Really? Rise, my subjects. Carl Carbon. Friend of the Clinton Bush Crown, your queen summons you. Of course, my queen. Yes, your majesty? Uh, okay, you can stop calling me that. We're out of earshot. Your majesty makes me feel so old. We're not out of this yet. If we can't figure out a way to gain control of the Garden of Forking Paths, this will be the shortest reign since Lady Jane Grey, 1553. What happened to her? She was executed by her successor, Queen Bloody Mary the First. Your first official decree as queen better be to send the agents away. We don't want them to even get a whiff of a hint that we lied to them about King Warren being dead. Indeed. I need all of you to secure the entrances to this throne room immediately. We may fall under attack from our enemies at any moment. Immediately, your majesty. All right, we have controls that save the game. And since we have achieved some developments, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you very much. 
see you in the next one and uh, find me if you don't need you also i will put some other relevant links in the description thanks again bye